Well, I just dug down, dug down some tires from my tire rack up there. Well, it used to be a tire rack, now the seat's on it. Um, it'll be a tire rack again soon, I promise you. But uh, I want to switch some of the tires around on some of my cars outside. Uh, pretty much for the winter, not to drive. Just to, uh, just to get the other ones out of the weather. You know, especially the 68 American that goes in and out of the tent to the shared spot with here. I want to get the aluminum wheels off. I already have two steel wheels with two radials mounted for the front. I'm going to grab two of these snows for the back and two of these snows I'm going to put on the back of the Concorde to actually use. These tires are mint. There's no cracks. You know what I mean? They are good tires. Let's see these with the white walls. What are those bad boys, huh? These are Winter Master Poly 4s. High tech with the Roman numerals, huh? These are 195-75 D 14s. Does that mean anything to you guys, that D? Normally to be an R there for radio. D is bias play. Don't go by the actual the fact that it's measured in metric. Then here we have a set of what do we got here? We have Yeah baby. We have Sears. These are traction. XSTs. These are I saw this nice. Oop. These are E78 14s. These were on the back. These were used year after year after year. I actually pulled them off the rims on a friends of mine's mother's 70 Chevelle. So these are studded. Like I said, they're like new. And there's not a sign of dry rot or anything on any of these tires. I don't save dry rotted tires. So I think we're going to put these studded bad boys on the back of the Concorde. You know, with the power that thing puts out, I think we're going to need the studs in the snow. And these other ones will go back on the back of the American. I don't know how close they are in size. I can see they're pretty close. So, these are definitely a little more aggressive with that tread in the center. Rather than that squiggly thing. But either or. One's a little more aggressive on the outside than the other. But either way, I'm going to run to work. At work, i got four rims sitting there. I think they're straight. <laughs> I'm going to have to check them. And uh, that's it. Wish I could put these on the back of the car. They're just too tall. These things would definitely be cool. These M&H Race Masters. These Cheetah Slicks. So they're just too tall. They definitely will not fit in the walls that I know of. Okay. Would you believe I got here? I brought myself an extra rim because this rim was brand new. I got here and I only had two other rims here. I thought I had four. So I mounted these. I want to let them sit on there, make sure they're not leaking from the beads. This one I got to use the air cheetah. So I figured I'd videotape that.
if I have good luck or bad luck. It depends on the way you look at it. I mounted the tires. I only had three of the rims. And I actually brought one as an extra rim. Or else I would only have two rims. And I turned around to put them in the car. And my right rear tire was almost flat to the ground. So you would think that wouldn't be a problem working in the shop. But where, where am I going to get the patch? I found the plug and I was not plugging it unless I really had to. So... and hunted and hunted and hunted and looked at everybody's toolbox and I found one person with a patch just sitting there. So, I got to patch the tire. So there was no way I was plugging it. It's a Michelin tire. It's got a good 80% left on the tread. So, there was no way I was damaging these tires. So, oh, with that, I'm on my way home.